Hey there, we're back with another one of our videos where we'll be talking about vitamin D3. That's right, the sunshine vitamin and all the questions that you've been asking us for quite a while. For this video, we scoured Hugo Life's Twitter audience questions and brought in an expert, Dr. Prerna Prasad, to answer those questions. Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Prerna Prasad and I'm a general practitioner and I'm so happy to be here to be answering your questions today. But before we begin, can you enlighten all of us a little bit about vitamin D3? So, vitamin D3 is a very essential vitamin for our body. It has its own actions, but the interesting thing is it also helps in the absorption of calcium and phosphorus. And I think all of us know calcium and phosphorus are very important for our bone health and immunity. Despite the importance of this, a lot of people ignore the importance of vitamin D3 and most of them have deficiency of it and this might lead to various problems such as weak bones, less immunity, catching frequent in infections and it also uh, gets as serious as developing a few cancers. Now that we all know what vitamin D3 is, let's dive into the first question from our Twitter audience. What can vitamin D3 deficiency lead to and what are the most common signs of vitamin D3 deficiency? So there are a spectrum of signs and symptoms in vitamin D3 deficiency and it ranges from no symptoms at all to having severe debilitating ones. The symptoms that you see in children are different from adults. You can see bone weakness, muscle weakness, fatigue and even severe illnesses such as rickets and osteomalacia. So rickets you see in children and osteomalacia in adults where your bones become so soft and so brittle that you might just have a fracture while walking and it is a very very painful condition. Let's look at another tweet from our audience. If I'm already taking multivitamin supplements, do I need to take separate vitamin D3 supplements? So here's the thing, although most brands contain enough vitamin D3 in them, some of them do not have the recommended dietary allowance in it. And it also depends on the individual's age, the kind of activity he does. For example, people who go to the gym who lift weights and build muscle, and women who are going through menopause, older men and children. So these are the individuals who will require a higher amount of vitamin D. It also depends on your body store of vitamin D3. Suppose you have a deficiency of vitamin D3, you need a higher dosing or you need a supplement of vitamin D3 that you need to take it separately along with your multivitamins. Another one from our Twitter audience asks, what is the best way for me to get my vitamin D3 fix in summers? You can get vitamin D3 by exposing yourself to sunlight for a minimum of 20 to 30 minutes from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay. And you should make sure you're not fully covered, your arms and legs are exposed to the sunlight, you're not wearing any sunscreen or sunblock. But this also depends on the color of your skin, the location and several other factors like that. Mm -hmm. Whether it's summer or winter, I would always suggest you to take your supplements because it is dependent on a lot of other factors as well. Got it. So, what are the best combinations that you can take with vitamin D3? So, I can give you a few examples and the most important one is calcium. Okay. So, for absorption of calcium, vitamin D is very essential. And as we know, calcium is good for your bone health. Mm -hmm. There is also magnesium which works well with vitamin D3 for your immunity. Hmm. There is also omega-3 fatty acids, which is well absorbed in the presence of vitamin D. Oh, God. So another one from our Twitter audience asks, is it possible for me to overdose on vitamin D3 from sunlight exposure? No, you cannot overdose from exposing yourself to sunlight. Although on very rare occasions, you can overdose by taking too many supplements. Hmm. But if you expose yourself to enough sunlight, uh, yeah. there is no harm. Uh, but you should be careful of other effects of harmful sun rays like aging, mm -hmm. uh, probably developing more prone to cancers, things like that. Moving on to another question. How long does it take for my body to absorb vitamin D3? So it takes around 24 hours for the vitamin to reach a maximum level in your blood right. but you should always ensure you're taking it along with the meal that contains some amount of fats. 
Right. And this is because vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin. Okay. So in the presence of fats, it is soluble and it is uh, absorbed better in your gut. Hmm. Alright, got it. And our last question is, what time is the best time to consume vitamin D3 supplements and should they be taken on empty stomach or with food? Good question. So, the time and manner in which you can take vitamin D3 usually varies according to the individual, but there are a few general guidelines to it. Right. As I already mentioned, it's always better you take it with a meal that contains a good amount of fats in it. Right, right. And it's always better if you take it in the morning mm -hmm. and at the same time every day. So your circadian rhythm gets used to it and sufficient levels are maintained in your blood. Thank you Dr. Prasad for giving us your expert insight on such a vital nutrient and its health benefits. Thank you so much. I had a lot of fun answering your questions. I hope I helped. Definitely, definitely. And if you guys like such kind of content and want to watch more informative videos in the future, subscribe to Yoga Life and like this video. And to have your question answered in future videos, comment down below. Do not forget to get your daily dose of vitamin D3 from yogalife.com. It has a varied range of selections tailored to suit your lifestyle. Until we meet again, take good care of yourself and stay healthy.